$100 million casino hack in Las Vegas left the FBI speechless. On September 11th, 2023, the staff at MGM Resorts was carrying out its duties like always when all hell broke loose. Suddenly, their systems stopped working, guests had trouble entering their rooms with digital keys, and slot machines were out of order. It was Armageddon, and it all started with one phone call. How exactly did the group pull it off? By the time we're done, you will think twice before answering the phone going forward. Welcome back to Fortunepedia, where we will be talking about how a $100 million casino hack in Las Vegas left the FBI speechless. Make sure you don't miss your chance to learn about the greatest cyber attack of the century. Chapter 1. The Attack MGM is one of the biggest players on the Las Vegas Strip, with more than two dozen hotels and casinos around the world. Along with an online sports betting website, the organization rakes in $43 million a day. However, it all came tumbling down in 2023, when one group of hackers decided to target MGM Resorts, leaving them with a loss of $100 million. During the MGM hack, a lot went wrong quickly. First, people couldn't use their digital keys or do mobile check-ins, so the hotel had to give out old-school physical keys. Over at the Excalibur, one of the big hotels in Vegas, things got messy with casino games not working right and long lines forming. Even though you could still get cash from ATMs, it was a big headache for everyone there. While this was all happening, MGM's workers were trying super hard to keep guests from getting too upset. Meanwhile, the big bosses, tech folks, and lawyers were all huddled up trying to figure out what to do next. And just when they thought it couldn't get any worse, they got hit with a shocker. A message saying someone had stolen customer data and wouldn't give it back unless MGM paid up a ton of money. It was like something out of a movie, but for the people at MGM, it was all too real. However, despite the threat to its business and profits, MGM refused to pay up. Instead, the resort shut down its systems in an attempt to protect its systems and data. To keep things afloat, the company switched to manual mode, using handwritten receipts for casino winnings and checking in guests without digital keys. Though from all angles, it seemed like the business was sinking fast, MGM kept assuring customers that it was trying its best to keep its casinos running. Unfortunately, MGM failed to recognize the dangerous waters it was swimming in. It would take the company a surprising 10 days to get back to working capacity. And so the question lingers. Who exactly brought one of the biggest gambling conglomerates to its knees, and how did they pull it off? Before we make the big reveal, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Chapter 2. The Culprits Interestingly enough, a few days after the attack commenced, a group of notorious hackers, Scattered Spider, claimed responsibility for the attack. They apparently used ransomware made by either Black Cat or Alf Wee. For the unacquainted, it's a ransomware as a service operation. Though the group had only been established in 2022, that didn't stop them from going after Big Fish and dealing some serious damage. Scattered Spider earned a name for itself by going after the likes of Reddit, Seiko, and a cybersecurity firm, Mandiant. Many believe that the group consists of hackers in their late teens and early 20s. Working out of either Europe or the US, interestingly, the group had previously targeted Caesars Entertainment, another prominent conglomerate from the Las Vegas Strip. Scattered Spider hijacked the organization's internal systems and asked for $30 million in exchange for customer data. And unlike MGM, Caesars ended up paying half of the ransom money and emerged out of the crisis. Hackers use tactics of social engineering to infiltrate the organization's systems. For those of you who don't know, social engineering is a special type of hacking, where culprits use devious techniques to get their target to reveal sensitive information or perform certain actions that allow them to gain access. Think of the spam calls you receive where a con artist tried to get you to reveal your bank information by pretending to be a customer representative. Interestingly, Scattered Spider pulled a similar trick on MGM. The initial plan was for the hackers to hack into the casino slot machines, change the odds to 100%, and then send members to collect the winnings. However, cracking the casino turned out to be a tall order for the group. And so they decided to think of other ways. They carried out reconnaissance, which in other terms means they searched up MGM's employees on LinkedIn and tried to dig up all that they could on them. 
Once they had gathered enough information, Scattered Spider proceeded to carry out their plan. This particular technique is known as vishing, a combination of the words voice and phishing. According to reports, 90% of all cyber attacks use phishing to infiltrate organizations. What makes a vishing attack successful is good reconnaissance, and Scattered Spider didn't cut any corners here. According to Stephanie Carruthers, the chief people hacker for IBM, things like LinkedIn and different types of people search engines, that is the first step into making a successful wish. Scattered Spider chose a highly privileged employee from MGM's list of employees and called up the organization's support desk, pretending to be him. It's reported that all members of Scattered Spider have an exceptional English accent, allowing them to fool potential targets. During the phone call, the hacker asked the representative for help with resetting the password. Unfortunately, for MGM, the receptionist ended up playing right into the group's trap. That 10-minute call single-handedly provided Scattered Spider with the keys to the castle. They gained access to the organization's customer data, from names and contact info to driver's license numbers and social security numbers. However, Scattered Spider didn't immediately launch an attack. They waited a month, lurking in the resort system and collecting customer information before making their presence known and asking for ransom. MGM tried to curb the attack by shutting down its servers, but it was too late. Scattered Spider was in full control of the MGM systems. Still, the organization stuck its ground and used every possible trick in the book to overcome the crisis at hand. Chapter 3. The Aftermath Though MGM had managed to emerge from the situation without caving into the hackers' demands, the aftermath brought many devastating consequences. For starters, the data breach had cost the company a total loss of $100 million, and that doesn't include the lawsuit filings by angry customers. Additionally, following the incident, MGM lost its reputation as people criticized the conglomerate for focusing on protecting its riches rather than its customers' data. The organization also faced considerable backlash for not training its employees. Had they been trained on how to tackle possible vishing attacks, and had there been a better authentication process in place, MGM could have avoided the entire ordeal altogether. Unfortunately for MGM and its customers, the organization simply didn't have the foresight. The result? A mind-blowing 27% drop in the company's stock prices. In the end, the scattered spiders had succeeded in dealing a heavy blow to one of the biggest players from the Las Vegas Strip. However, when it comes to crippling prominent organizations, the group still has a long way to go. Years ago, a stock genius made history by bringing Wall Street to its knees. Operating from a laptop in his bedroom, one man wiped $1 trillion from the U.S. stock market in a matter of 35 minutes, spreading nationwide chaos. How exactly did he pull it off? And were authorities able to catch this criminal mastermind? Click on the video on your screen right now to find out.